Math 76, Lesson 120, Classifying Triangles. Now this is, a, this is an interesting lesson, it's just a, uh, well it's not just, it's, it's a bit of math, facts, and knowledge concerning triangles and how we describe triangles based on their attributes. I don't know if I'll actually need to write anything down for this lesson, but we will go through the lesson with the camera. Uh, so there's two ways to classify triangles. The first method is by the length of their sides, and the second method is by the measure of their angles. I almost said rotation, but angles are a measure of rotation. So the first way we classify triangles is by the length of the sides. The second way is by the size of their angles. So let's talk about classifying by their sides. And we've got this fun little chart on page 583. And we have three different types of triangles based on their sides. sides, sides. Uh, the first one is equilateral. So that's a triangle where all three sides of the triangle are equal. Right? So we can see bottom is the same length as the right, the same length as the left. Okay. Next we have what's called isosceles. In an isosceles triangle, only two sides are equal. So we can see this side and that side is equal, this side and that side is equal, but the third side is either longer or shorter than the two given sides. And the last way is scalene. So scalene is where no two sides are equal. We have three different lengths of, uh, of sides. Right? That's how we classify triangles by, by their sides. Uh, we either have all three sides are equal, only two sides are equal, or no sides are equal. Right? That's equilateral, isosceles, and scalene. Now, let's talk about how we classify uh, triangles by their angles. Okay, So, we have these three words. We have acute, right, and obtuse. Uh, so, the interesting thing is that triangles only have 180 degrees in them. So, what they're talking about is... Uh, let, me, let me put it this way. Let's start from the bottom. We'll go from the bottom up. An obtuse triangle is any triangle where one angle is an obtuse angle or is bigger than 90 degrees. And that's something that you can clearly see because if you remember 90 degrees are perpendicular lines, it's when they, you know, they, they, they make a perfect 90 degree angle or a very sharp corner. Uh, whereas here we can see that this angle right here is much larger than 90. There's one obtuse angle. Now if we were to look at the other two angles, those are acute, right? So it's, you're never going to have more than one obtuse angle in the triangle. But as long as one angle is obtuse, that is now an obtuse triangle. Now let's go with the right triangle. Right? Uh, with the right triangle, one of the three angles is a right angle. Right? And we can see that clearly. It's got that sharp 90 degree turn. That is a right triangle. And if you look at the other two angles, those are also acute. Right? Now you'll never have more than one right angle in a triangle. There can only be one right angle. So if you're looking for a right triangle, you have to remember to check all three angles. Same with obtuse. Now for an acute triangle, what we see is all three angles of the triangle are acute, meaning all three angles are less than 90. So whenever you're classifying a triangle by their angles, it's very important that you check all three angles because if they were to rotate, reflect, or translate these triangles, you might miss the 90 or the obtuse triangle if you only check one angle. Uh, so make sure you check all three angles to figure out what type of triangle that you have. Um, let's see here. So here's some other fun facts uh, to know is that each angle in an equilateral triangle measures 60 degrees. So the funny thing about equilateral triangles is that equilateral triangles are also equal angular. So when they say equilateral, they're talking about this one right here where all, all sides are equal. And that's something you can see. With all sides equal, you can also see all three angles are equal. And the measure of each angle is always going to be 60 degrees. So that's a fun bit of information that you should know. And uh, let me see here. Uh, oh, uh, there's some other facts in here. They want to point out that isosceles triangles can also be acute or right or obtuse. Uh, and a scalene triangle may be acute, right, or obtuse. Okay, But an equilateral triangle can only um, be equal angular. Okay, um, So that's, that's really it for this lesson. It feels strange not having to draw anything for a lesson, but that's, uh, that's what this lesson is. It's learning some math facts. These are things that you should memorize. Uh, and be able to to point out uh, angle or point out point out triangles or distinguish triangles based on their characteristics of length of side or uh, type of angle. That's it for this lesson. If you have any questions, let me know on the school website, and I will see you in class.